Okay, Matt with Mob Street here. And, uh, had a family party today on the 4th of July and uh, wanted to bring the tee up with so that we could you know, do some riding around and whatnot. And anyways, we can't fit the whole family on the tee up, well, not my whole family. So, brought it down here on the trailer and just figured, you know what, while we're out and about, I'll show you how to simply mount the TW on a trailer is what I usually do. So first of all, another great thing about the TW is they weigh less than 300 pounds, they're extremely well balanced, and they're pretty much very light to push and pull and whatever you gotta do. So anyways, I'll just show you how you know you can do this and um, if you're not comfortable doing this by yourself, don't do it because you don't want the bike to fall over because that's gonna cause some damage and some embarrassment, whatever, to ride the car a little bit. So if you're not comfortable, don't do it by yourself. So, anyways, just get the bike lined up and just start to push it up on. Make sure your front wheel's on. Get your rear wheel lined up. Now, when you get to this point, trying to figure out what to do, you gotta step up. Use your right hand up here, grab the brake. And that will keep the bike from rolling. Go ahead and get your step up. Then you want to make sure you've got it onto some sort of wheel chalk on the front wheel, just to make sure that the bike has something to dock into. So when I'm loading it by myself, take the kickstand, set it down. There you go, you know, the bike's sitting by itself. One other great thing, I've got my tie downs ready here. So I'll just take this one, and this has got what's called a soft loop. So this nylon strap can just go right here around your handlebars, slide it up through, and just put your hook into place. Now, you want to make sure that you've either got soft loops, and like an idiot, I missed the handlebar there, so we'll do it again. Go up through the bar. If you don't have soft loops, these hooks right here have rubber on them, so you're not going to mar up your bar at all. But I'll just take this one and just cinch it down, just barely, just so I know the bike's not going to go anywhere once I start to pull it on the other side. So I'll step to the other side of the trailer. And I'll grab my other tie down, make sure you've got enough slack in it to get up over the other handlebar, or the other side of the bar. Grab your soft loop. And be careful with the tank because usually these, lat or these um, anchors here are metal and you don't want to scratch the tank. So now you just pull it down through and grab your bar and pull. You're going to compress your suspension, and there you go. You've got your bike all nice and tight, and I like to do just what I call the earth shake test. Give it a good shake. Make sure your tie down stay tight. And that's all you got to do to get your TW under a trailer. Again, if you're not comfortable doing it by yourself, make sure you've got somebody with you so you don't tip the bike over because... Again, that's never anything you want. Make sure you've got a front wheel chalk of some sort so that it'll, when you're pulling the bike in, it'll pull that butt or that front wheel up into something so it's not going to slide forward while you're driving. So um, anyways, it's as simple as that. If there's any questions or comments, you know, go ahead and comment below. Let me know. And um, thanks for watching.